Hi, I'm Steve Olson, the manager of training services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to take a look at the mark command, which is a new feature added into Inventor 2023. So the mark command is actually ideal for situations where customers want to laser burn or etch into a component like a part number or some other marking that is important for the assembly or for some other reason. The mark command is actually based off some styles. So we're gonna start by looking at the style. So if I go to my manage tab here and I go to my style editor, there are two different default si styles and then I've added another one text to laser. So if we look at the options inside of this, it says the mark depth surface or through, which is going to put a mark on the surface, or it's going to basically put it on both sides because it's marking the whole way through. And then we can do an outline or strokes. Now for text, if we pick stroke, we can then pick essentially a replacement text format or, or style that will replace that. So here, here I've used simplex eight as my style. And then also if I export these, what do we want the front color to be, the line type, and then the back. So uh, at the end of this video, I'll actually export the flat pattern here to a DXF and we'll look at how that looks in say AutoCAD when we bring that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save and close. And we're, we're gonna get a little bit of a bonus new feature here where we're actually going to put the part number into our text. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new sketch here on this face. It's gonna create a text, kind of put it right here. And this is another kind of little bonus uh, new feature. Notice that we can now use our standard eye properties as well. So in the um, standard eye properties, and I'm gonna put in my part number I can insert that and I'll have to up the size here a little bit. So I'm going to go up to like a half inch. And there we go. That's the part number. And then this isn't only for just text. I can actually just draw like if I have a line here, if I have like an arrow or something that, that does that. Actually, maybe I'll just kind of put a little bit of an arrowhead there uh, to show you how this will work. So I'm going to finish my sketch. And then I'm going to go to the mark command, which here is in my modify panel. There's mark. So I'm going to pick what I'm going to mark, which will be these lines and that text. And this drop down is where I can pick the style. So in my case, I put text to laser. I'll say OK. And you can see that the text there turned into a single line. So if I'm going to do some sort of laser burn, I want to etch that into the front face. I can do that. I just have a simple path now instead of having the outline with having that more of a true type font. If I flip around to the back side, that text is not there. If I use the um, through part, it would have actually gone and shown on both sides. Now let me create a flat pattern of this. So you can see it does show up here in my flat pattern. My flat pattern is kind of sitting upside down. So let me edit this. So now if I want to export this out to a DXF, I can do a save copy as, I can set it to a DXF. And there's my, my mark surface, the front and the back. Those are some of those colors there that we were seeing in the style. I'll say, okay. And now that we've got that, we can open that up in AutoCAD. So here we are in AutoCAD. It came out in that yellowish text based off the style that I had created. And if I'm gonna do some sort of burn or whatever I need, there I've got the lines to do that here in AutoCAD. Well, that's all for now. I'd love to hear what you think of this new feature in the comments below. If you have any questions, uh, you can feel free to reach out to me at my email address there on the screen. And as always, thanks for watching.